It's time to sit back and crack open a cold one. One thing I've really been enjoying now is I have begun to... Ooh, I, mm -mm. Nope. Get my souls first. Prioritize. I'm inclined to admit that as a person who has never really liked PvP, uh, in... in oh, what? That I... Have actually enjoyed it. Oh no, I'm alive! How? I I don't have any healing items. It won't help me <laughs> to live. Uh, I think I think the most fun was the PvP. The the before there really was PvP. The fact that we could get people in one area this whole thing happened this one area of the game that was just like really open it looked like a little arena i don't know if they set it up like that on purpose but they like you could get people to join up in mass i mean i think like five six people unless the host died could just like keep going at it and <clears throat> And you could summon them into your world. It was not official. And I think that was my favorite part. Was like it was just it felt so like it was nice they let you exploit that. And then on top of that, to have that they let you do it. That was I think that was the best part. The people the people that wanted to do PvP so badly found a way. <laughs> And, again, I was never a fan of that. I have never have been a fan. Not of Dark Souls, just any game. Uh, I am very much... I don't know why with, like, how competitive I can be. Ooh, but uh, I just never have been that guy. I think when I was younger and, you know... Ooh, when I was younger, when I got scored. <laughs> but... <laughs> um, I always felt bad um, if I would uh, send somebody into like a whirling rage <laughs> because you know because I beat them somehow or if I you know started winning and you know there was like no chance and in, in, to some degree that they were gonna win Ooh. You know, I felt bad. So, I think that might have been part of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I just wanted to try once. And it worked so perfectly. Alright, alright. Here we go. Wow. Now the reason that fireball would have been so helpful is because everything in the black ooze lagoon. Uh, wow. I just let myself get lit up. What? I'm not even going to argue anymore. Why is the game doing this? Alright, here we go. No. Yeah. It's too different on the amount of damage that I get from strong attacks. I mean, not charge strong attacks. Oh my goodness, this is poor. This is this is a, this was very reminiscent of my first uh, <clears throat> my first run in with Gunder, 
And the problem with that is I had all the armor on and I was trying with with weapons. Oh man. All right. Nope. I'm dead. Oh. Not dead. Definitely not better. Okay. Yeah, definitely not better off, but <clears throat> not dead. <sighs> so intense. <laughs> Just such a... <laughs> it really sounded like exactly what hitting <laughs> a piece of armor with your fist sounds like. Just an empty, hollow thud. <laughs> That was pretty good, one might say. And even with him being off time, you can still kind of get a feel for it. Nope. Nope. It's a dance. Yep. Yeah, it's a dance. Where's my coach? If I'm Lil Joe, I need a coach. Gotta rub my shoulders and cut above my my eye wow this is getting rougher by the second I think it's going good you know I had somebody uh, come to me mm, via Instagram which we have an Instagram that you should uh, check out uh, and ask me for help uh, with their channel, which I think means two things, which they didn't start out asking for help for their channel. They started out asking for mm, a shout out. Which <clears throat> I've never met them, never talked to them. I don't even think they're subscribed to the channel. He just saw like, hey, smaller, smaller channel equals more opportunity. I might actually get to talk with this person equals, you know, I might, I might even get a shout out. And for anybody who, who, you know, thinks that way, like I have learned in being in this like position, not, oh. I've learned in being in, uh, in, in this community that for one, like just asking for a shout out is trash. That's using someone, I guess is the way you'd say it. But like, <clears throat> it's like, you don't want to be that guy. <laughs> That's pretty much what I can say. You don't want to be that guy because it's it's trash it's rubbish that you think you just are owed something for nothing you want me to go out of my way to do something for you that may not even be beneficial for you really in the end because I'm not some big youtuber with some big influence those those numbers mean you know very little in the end game if people aren't you know if those 200 and 300 subscribers aren't watching people have come on streams and it just it's just aggravating because you're like i'm not i'm trying to entertain i'm trying to do uh so, like something for the people that are watching i'm not trying to do stuff for you in in that sense so then it turned into well could you help me for my my channel like learn stuff and da, 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 da. i don't know all of the answers because I'm not big. I have ideas, I have hopes, I have aspirations. I have people tell me things that I think are contrary to what a good community uh, working towards the same goal would say. 
which I feel they're just trying to be underhanded. And that's fine. That's my attributing a motive, not them coming out and doing that, so. He said something about being, you know, pretty young. Funny enough, being a dad has definitely changed my perspective on a lot of things, and I really want to talk about that soon, like, more in-depth. But, you know, what I ended up telling him is, like, dude, you should be talking to your parents about this. So I'm going to finish this thought, and then we'll move on. One of the things that has really made me, like, I, I realized, you know, I told that guy, like, man, little dude, like, you should be talking to your parents about these things. You know, they should be seeking, if, uh, because, because having, one, I mean, that's just, that's just the safest route, honestly, is to go to your parents. They they will be able to see things in their being older that you don't see. They'll be able to take care of things that you don't know how. And, uh, you know, are, are too young to handle at the moment. And they could be a great help to you. Or they could be like... I don't want you to do that. And then you go, okay, I'm your child. And so I understand that I don't like your decision, but maybe there's some deeper wisdom in it. than I anticipate in the things I want right now. And you know, the final thought I left him on was, man, if I found out that my, that my, my son, couldn't come felt like he couldn't come to me like not that he can't that he felt like that you know I'd be pretty disheartened you know I'd be a little upset with myself like what did I do where do, where do I fix that to make a more open relationship where I feel like my son can come to me on those things and I hope that helps I, I feel like you know long term for two reasons the one it's gonna help me like protecting myself from <laughs> any future problems like to not deal with little kids on the internet don't know what they're doing when I'm not their parents or anyone that their parents know like I'm some stranger on the internet dude you don't know what people get into like the internet is a mess you know if I found out some older person like decided to talk to my kiddo about like the ways of the world even if he asked them I'd be like who are you and like why are you talking to my son you know and then on the other end like maybe this is something that brings him if he listens you know maybe this is something that brings him closer to his parents and ultimately like helps him in the long run understand that <sighs> You know, I think it's a good, important thing that we bring back the family unit as the... Oh. As the standard, you know? You know, it, it won't mean your family's always right, but... It definitely can't hurt to check with them first, especially if you're a minor. You're not a man or a woman yet, so, you know, you can't, you live under their roof, you, they're paying your bills, like, there's, you know, they don't owe you anything within reason. Death, wow. All right, gonna get off that horse now and see you guys next time on Gunder Sheep. Made it to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this far. Cannot appreciate enough what that does for my ego, my stat. I am glad that we're back to making content.